Hey guys, this is uh, not the most uh, practical build, but it is something I've been interested in for uh, quite a while. Um, I like the idea of trying to build a calculator using the electrical components of the camp, but uh, I didn't think that was possible. Uh, until just recently I found a method called quarter square multiplication, which is uh, an old ancient Babylonian method for doing multiplication. And it's sort of their version of a multiplication table, if you've ever seen those or, or remember those from school. Um, so it kind of works with the camp system, and given that it's kind of a primitive um, system, it fits really well with the uh, primitive electrical components. Uh, so I'll give a demonstration here. Let's say I want to do 3 times 5. I'll select the number 3 and the number 5. And in quarter square multiplication, the first thing it's going to do is it has to sum these two values together. So what you're going to see here is the number 8. And I must go over here and select the number 8 from the list. So it's going to go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the next thing we must do is uh, we have to find the difference between 5 and 3. So I'll select 3, the lowest value. And the difference between them is 2. So I'll go over here and I'll select 2 and we have 15. So there are 15 light boxes lit for the answer of 15 for 3 by 5. Uh, so on this side, if you look at a quarter square multiplication table, you'll see that each number maps to a different number, uh, and then you find the difference between them to generate the um, result of your multiplication. Uh, so let's do another example. I'll turn these off. So we did 3 times 5. Why don't we do 2 times 4? Turn that off. So I'll select the number 2, and I'll select the number 4. So it's going to sum those values together, so that's going to be 6. So we must go over here and select the number 6. And then I have to find the difference between 2 and 4. So I'll select the 2, and that's going to be 2. And then select the 2 here. And the uh, answer is 8. So 2, two times 4, uh, everyone is surprised to find the answer is 8. Um, now there's some limitation with this. I can't calculate anything higher than 16 just because you can't wire uh, more than 20 wires to any particular object. Uh, so that did limit me as to the size of some of the numbers I could calculate. There were some other limitations here. Now if I show how this is set up, um, if you've seen some of the videos I did on power pathing and priority, you'll know why I'm using all these powered speakers. So each speaker represents one. And then if you look at my generators, uh, these represent the total sum possible value um, that is kind of represented on this board here. So as you're turning these on and off, uh, you're diverting power from these speakers and then it's uh, redirecting onto the board. So basically these are all on. If I want a five in the board, I turn it off. Oops, I must still have a button on here. Yeah, so if I turn it off, I'll have five. If I turn this three off, I'll have three. Uh, and now the mapping for the multiplication table. On the right side, it's a lot hairier. It's a lot more. Um, <laughs> it's it's definitely a lot more expensive on the copper. But uh, you'll see, uh, there's probably one to two hundred powered speakers here, and that's because these mappings are a lot higher and they get exponentially larger. So as we get to like the eight, I turn this off and. Uh, but 8 is going to be like a full 16, and then I think the 9 is 20, but I can't actually show that on the board. So, um, And back there are the generators. I think that's like 70 power or something like that. Uh, and all 70 powers accounted for by these powered speakers. Uh, so yeah, I'd recommend if you want to know how some of that works to watch the power uh, pathing and priority video. But uh, other than that, uh, yeah, this isn't super practical. I, I don't think it has a use. And... Um, yeah, I just thought it was interesting, so I thought uh, I'd show it, and hope you guys thought it was interesting too.